quickly got across to Sanjay Hegde, senior lawyer joining us on the phone line. Mr. Hegde, here we are looking at uh, Nupur Sharma, who has gone to the Supreme Court with a limited petition, but it seems like the Supreme Court come down heavy on her, almost blaming her for being single-handedly responsible for what's happening in the country. What, uh, in a way, do you say that the Supreme Court was wrong? Ultimately, you, all of us choose our words with a sense of responsibility. We may come on uh, TV programs as experts or as representatives of political parties, but one never goes beyond the norms of uh, peace in a civil society. If you, if if you want to provoke violence, and sorry to say this right to on this channel and to your face, but channels also like to incite, and the Supreme Court in the same case has had has has had asked questions of the channel as well, and said uh, were they were they running an agenda? So it is high time that all of us learn to go back to a civil discourse. Mr. Hegde, we do understand uh, in the thick of, uh, uh, in the midst of a debate and when there's emotions running high, uh, uh, people make comments of such nature. It's happened in the past as well. Nupur Sharma being pulled up for a comment that she has made on Prophet Muhammad. The outrage wouldn't have happened had it not been for uh, many of the Gulf countries stepping in and, and a huge backlash uh, on the other side. But, but don't you observe that these are comments so, uh, otherwise... So made are rampantly. you saying that... Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not justifying saying, for it. I'm not justifying no. for it. I'm saying Nupur Sharma being pulled up single-handedly uh, and, and uh, the Supreme Court saying that she's to be blamed for the entire atmosphere in the nation today. Um, how do you look at that? So are you saying... Uh, do you want to say, uh, me to say that the Supreme Court is wrong? I won't say that. They, that's number one. And number two, do you need the Gulf countries to do police you? Mm. I, other, I, otherwise, if the Gulf countries had not said anything, then what uh, this lady said was right. Please, there are, for a long time, this country has gone on. No, 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 just, uh, no, just no, 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 I'm sorry, you. I am sorry, you, no. you've called me on the program, yes, so please absolutely. don't Yes, absolutely, no, I'm just me. asking your opinion, ah. of course, no, not to ask uh, ah, so, any aspersions so, so, of what the Supreme Court is saying. No, 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 uh, no, no, so, so exactly, the Supreme Court, and when the Supreme Court says it, it says it as the Supreme Court for the country, mm. and the Supreme Court has also asked very pertinent questions of that channel. But it was that channel that day. Your channel or other channels have have been no less. And it, it's a salutary message from the Supreme Court to all channels. Please do not harvest hatred. Mm. So at this point, the Supreme Court uh, further observing that there are other, th th there are people who have been arrested, many of them uh, who have made contrary remarks. But Nupur Sharma, despite having as many FIRs in different states, so far has not been arrested. This is not a direction from the Supreme Court, but uh, the Supreme Court observing the developments. Does that mean this is a backhanded direction that, that, that she needs to be brought to book? I don't think the Supreme Court is giving any backhanded directions. Uh, even uh, in the other Pista Settlewood case, they, the Supreme Court doesn't direct. The Supreme Court makes observations as are necessary for the disposal of the case. In this case, the Supreme Court said, we will not grant you relief. Uh, Nukur Sharma's lawyer thereafter withdrew the petition. So, so how, how must that be conceived, ideally? No. They, it, it, it is for the authorities to to do their job, there are several FIRs. Which which FIR uh, is investigated? There has to be an investigation in this case, right? It can't be that uh, all the authorities all over the country say, no, no, we, there's an FIR in another place, there's an FIR in this uh, place, so we will not do anything. So one FIR has to be the lead FIR, possibly the first FIR, and then everything else, uh, the legal process must go. And while I say this, let me be absolutely ca yeah. uh, clear. Only the legal process. There is no justification for anyone taking the law into their own hands. Whatever is the process of law, only that, nothing else. 
we have to be very careful about what we say. That again is my message. Right, sir. Here a quick word on the Supreme Court further saying that this is absolute arrogance displayed by Nupur Sharma by reaching out to the Apex Court. Why did you not explore options in the lower courts? Uh, what does that really mean? Nupur Sharma at this point feels that sh she may uh, find some relief from the Apex Court considering there are multiple FIRs. Um, th does that, what does that really mean? If you can tell us what were the actual legal options before her which she failed to explore? It was the same question in Maharashtra also. Everywhere the Supreme Court says, please don't rush to us at the, at the first instance. Take all the avenues which are available in law and which are available to the lower courts before you come up the ladder. Don't charge into the Supreme Court merely because there is Article 32 of the Constitution. Yes, the Supreme Court has the power. But the Supreme Court has very strict rules on when it will exercise the power. And yes, uh, uh, there was a reference to another journalist who got immediate relief by coming to the Supreme Court. Uh, the Supreme Court said that that is a one-off case. We, uh, it is quite possible that that one-off uh, precedent, a one-off case will not be a precedent. You know, a very shocking statement that the Supreme Court has made uh, where uh, she says that she faces threat. The Supreme Court saying that do you face threat or are you a security threat? Well, the, uh, very often the Supreme Court is responding to arguments which have made. Mm. And uh, uh, I, I would not wish to put place any, uh, any words or any interpretation on to the Supreme Court's mouth beyond what is there on the record. So the Supreme Court asked that question and I don't think the council answered it. At this point, the Supreme Court also uh, also saying you haven't apologized to the country. But Nupur Sharma so far, sir, has pulled, she says that I've withdrawn my statement. Does that amount to an apology? Uh, well, uh, they, uh, that is for Nupur Sharma to consider her position. Was that an apology if it was said, I did this, I'm sorry, I withdraw, but etc., etc., etc. An apology with a, with a justification. I'm only speaking of pure law in terms of contempt of court and other things. An unconditional apology is an unconditional apology. An apology with conditions is sometimes not treated as an apology. Right. So, you know, when, when there's, an, there's often, uh, you know, critiques saying that why, when, when there are, uh, this is just a question out of law, considering there are several people who often criticize and poke fun at Hindu gods, there's really nobody to speak for them. Uh, you know, Nipur Sharma makes a comment, but then because of the Gulf, Gulf countries intervention, it seems like this has become a serious case. Uh, w how would you observe that? Well, each person has their own definition of religion, right? And when you say people uh, poking fun of a Hindu god, I would invite you and your channel to cover what happens in Banaras right across the Ganga mm. on Holy Day and how our relationship with Hindu gods is quite different we, uh, from the uh, followers of other religions with their gods. They, uh, they may have fearful gods, we are on a much more informal basis with our gods. So at least that's the Hinduism that I know, which has been practiced in this country for centuries before this current political dispensation.